I've been called a lot of things. El Jefe, the savior of humanity, the boomstick butcher with the chainsaw hand. The truth is I'm just your everyday, charming, ruggedly handsome dude from Michigan. I didn't ask for any of this, but when Evil picked a fight with Ashley J. Williams, they picked the wrong dude. The Castle of Pandar is an obsession for my dad. I guess that's where I picked it up. We were exploring the castle's rear chamber when we found it. Naturon de Monto, the Book of the Dead. Mom and Dad took it back to their cabin to translate in peace. I stayed behind here at Kandar to find the missing pages. For time beyond measure, the brave people of Castle Kandar have stood as the final bastion of hope against the terrors of the Deadites. Under my leadership, our people have kept safe this region while we await the prophesied hero from the sky to deliver us. But I fear our time runs short and our end is nigh. I had a real life once. A job, a car, a girlfriend. Together we drove to a cabin in the mountains. An archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study his latest find, Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead. It was never meant for the world of the living. The book awoke something dark in the woods. Way out in the woods with the trees and the moonlight? What girl can resist that romantic setting? Shelly and I have been going out for about a month and a half, but this weekend is going to kick it up a notch. Nature brings out the primal instincts, you know? As Lord of the Northlands, I've been witness to all measure of hazard and hardship, but nothing approaches the abomination that now threatens our land. At the behest of the hero from the sky, I will put aside my grievance with Arthur in the south. I will ride with my men into battle against evil itself. Blows, blood and death, I say. I know I'm punching above my weight with Linda, but the important thing is she doesn't know it. Heck, she doesn't even realize that piece of crap necklace I gave her came out of a gumball machine. As an associate professor, to be invited to join Professor Noby's expedition of Castle Kandar was the highlight of my career. I could never have imagined that it's also where I'd find the woman of my dreams. From the moment I saw her, the professor's daughter, Annie, took my breath away. In that instant, I knew that I'd follow her into the mouth of hell. Value Stop was supposed to be a temporary layover for me. A pit stop to gas up and get my bearings before the magnificent future ahead. I don't plan anymore. I don't even think about the future. While everyone else dreams of peace on Earth and puppies, my eyes are wide open to the evil closing in around us. I can't explain what happened to Detective Carson in that house. He was my partner, my friend. And then he was... something else. He was sick. At first, I thought I couldn't trust my eyes. Then I saw the same thing again in the bookstore. And the diner. This Ash guy isn't someone I'd normally trust, but at this point, he's my best option to stop this thing. Delta. Tuned up and gassed. Check. Suitcases, TV, Football and blankets in the trunk. Check. Map to the cabin? Check. Worthless magnifying glass necklace, boxed up like actual jewelry and in my pocket? Check. Linda's gonna love it. She'll never take it off. I always feel like an outsider with Ash and his friends, like the tag-along little sister. Scotty doesn't make it any easier teasing me all the time. I don't even know why Ash likes him. Ash says this will be a fun weekend, but I don't know. Stuck in this creepy old cabin for a weekend with this group? 
I'll be glad when it's over. When I was a kid, my uncle Brujo would say, fear the devil. Evil is always waiting in the shadows. He told me that when that time came, that Hefe would rise to stand against it. I always thought he was crazy. Now, I may not be El Jefe, but I can see the time has come. The time to rise and stand against the evil. Fresh souls run scared in the night, and sweet Henrietta is hungry. Bring me to them, and I will do the rest. Son of a bitch that ever died in battle. <laughs> <laughs>